With me is Jim Davis from Sumter County Extension. Welcome, Jim. Hi, how are you? Good. Well, we've had our first cold snap, and our lawns are going to start having that needing to be winterized. So what can we do to have a winter-hardy or cold-hardy plant? Uh, first of all, you can select winter-hardy plants for your landscape. And what are they? <laughs> <laughs> winter-hardy plants are those plants that are not going to freeze back you know, in the wintertime. Now, there's a lot of Florida-friendly plants out there that will last year-round. You know, that will freeze back, you know, like hibiscus mm -hmm. and those type plants. You know, but once a freeze comes, you know, they're probably going to turn brown. They're going to die back to the bottom. In springtime, they're going to emerge again. But these are plants that are going to, you know, you're going to have color, you know, during that time when, you know, you might have some brown stuff out in your landscape. So this is stuff that you're not going to have to cover uh, during a freeze, and you're basically not going to have to worry about. Is there anything that in Florida that flowers that's really completely freeze-proof? Or if we have winters like we had last year, is, when it's so cold, is it going to get everything? It's not going to get everything. I mean, there are, there are some plants out there in the landscape mm -hmm. um, that will flower. You know, you have some plants that flower in November. Um, one beautiful plant out there that's actually flowering right now. It's called, a, a common name is called a butterfly bush. I'm not familiar with that. What does it look like? It's, it has a yellow flower. Mm -hmm. Actually, the scientific name is what you really need to go by because there's a lot of butterfly bushes. Uh, it's called Senna bicapsularis. And um, it has a beautiful yellow flower on it. And right now it's just covered full of blooms. And that will last till about the end of this month, beginning of December. How tall does that plant get? The, um, however tall you want to let it. You know, we have some homeowners that keep it in about, you know, like a shrub type mm -hmm. form, about three or four feet. But I've seen it as high as, you know, 10, 15 feet. It can be a, it can be a medium sized, tr you know, tree in a sense. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's also great about this plant. It's also a great butterfly plant. So most people think you cannot have butterflies during the winter time. You can, and this is just one of those plants that uh, the caterpillars lay their eggs on. You can have butterflies year round. What was that name again? Senna bicapsularis. Senna bicapsularis. And uh -huh. where would somebody go to find one of those? Most any local? any local nursery, mm -hmm. you know, will have that. Great. So what are some of the other winter hardy plants? I see you have some of them. We have some right here, and th this is actually. Uh, um, some annuals mm -hmm. that we have in the landscape and one of my favorites this is yeah this is one of my favorite too and this is called Dusty Miller and Dusty Miller is basically known for its foliage you know silver foliage and uh, this will last throughout the winter time will not freeze at all and then this plant will actually go out till about summertime um, so cases where it doesn't die out mm -hmm. during the heat um, I've had this plant actually flower in the summer. It actually does have a yellow flower. And if you want to wait that long, <laughs> um, you know, it's pretty. It's a, it's a pretty plant. And a nice backdrop for more colorful oh, things, Oh, yes, absolutely. And, you know, of course, one of the most popular out there, you know, is petunias. Mm -hmm. Most people plant petunias the wrong time. You know, a lot of people want to plant petunias in the summertime. That's so when not is the right time, Jim? <laughs> right now. <laughs> you know, you want to plant your petunias right now. Um, or very, very early spring. Mm -hmm. Uh, but definitely not in the summertime. And this is a type of petunia, but they also have several other species out there. This one looks real compact. It is, and it'll grow into a compact bush. They also have what they call the wave petunias, which, you know, drape over mm -hmm. hanging baskets. And one of my favorites is called Million Bells or Calibracoa. And uh, that's a little bit, it's like a dwarf type petunia flower in a sense. And, you know, again, you know, those are very, very cold tolerant. And this is one of my favorites and, I'm and my bring favorites too and they're here. so much fun when I was a child they were so much fun to play with yeah, yes they are and you know they come in different colors you know we got three right here um, but uh, this is uh, snapdragons and you know the red the white and they also have a beautiful yellow out there and different sizes I mean some you'll need to stake uh, but this can put a you know a huge burst of color in the landscape very easy to maintain and these will last till about uh, about April, mm -hmm. you know, May, somewhere around there, and then you need to remove them. In some cases, you actually have some that will actually recede back in the landscape. And you don't have to plant them again next year? Yeah. So that's always nice. Yeah, and, you know, other annuals out there are uh, kale. Oh, the decorative kale? Decorative kale. And so it comes in like a purplish color mm -hmm. and a white. And nice thing about that plant is the colder it gets, the more color it gets. I didn't know that. Yeah, and... It's a, it's a great backdrop plant, kind of like the Dusty Miller. Mm -hmm. And again, it's one of those butterfly plants. Again, um, is it a larval butterfly? It is a larval, a larval plant. So we have a plant, we have a butterfly called a, a cabbage, cabbage white. Mm -hmm. It's almost solid white. 
and it lays its egg on the kale plant and the caterpillars will chew it and it's, it's not going to defoliate or anything like that and uh, you'll have white butterflies floating around. So. Well, you showed us some annuals. What are some kind of perennials that we might think of having? Some of the perennials out there, you know, we have, uh, these are the, uh, basically, you know, a lot of the evergreen shrubs are not going to freeze mm -hmm. um, in the landscape. So this is one of them out there. This is called European, uh, or excuse me, Yopon holly. Mm -hmm. And Yopon holly is one of those evergreen shrubs that is basically a great foundation plant. You're not going to kill this plant. And I landscape. see from the label it says that it's deer um, resistant. Deer, so, deer. so if you, you live deer. out, people don't think about think their landscape needing to be deer resistant until mm -hmm. they start planting it and uh, they're in a deer area and suddenly they have no landscape. That's right. And it's a, it's a very tough plant. Now this holly does, um, this type of holly right here doesn't bury. Um, but there are other types of hollies that do. You know, there's a weeping which gets a little bit taller. Mm -hmm. and you know, other types of evergreen shrubs out there, one of my favorites that looks almost identical to this, but a little bit darker green leaves and bigger leaves, is called Walter's Viburnum. Um, that's my favorite shrub. Uh, are they a Florida native? That is a Florida that's native. Right. Mm -hmm. yep. And what's nice about that plant is that it can tolerate a wide range of pH and soil types and uh, can tolerate some partial shade, but it does flower. You know, it flowers in about what late color? white, mm -hmm. late February, and it again about August, September, but not you know, as abundant as, as, as in the winter months. But uh, it's a great plant out there. Um, also, you know, um, we were talking about palms a little exactly. earlier. <laughs> you know, um, a lot of people plant the wrong palms here in Central Florida. You so have to. so what's, what's the right palm to plant? Let's start with that. Well, some cold tolerant palms for the landscape that are decorative. European fan mm -hmm. palm is a great one. It's a medium size, small to medium size palm. Um, give some tro tropical look uh, to the landscape. Uh, windmill palm mm -hmm. um, is another type. What's nice about that palm is that can tolerate a little bit more shade than your other type of palms. Um, you also have your pendo palm or jelly palm. Right. And of course our native cabbage palm, which is one of the best to use you know, in the landscape. Right, because when you use natives, they're going to be a lot more tolerant to our heat. Yeah, and it's, a, cold. it's a great replacement for the queen palm. Mm -hmm. Now, queen palms, I know we see a lot of them. How cold hardy are they? Uh, well, they're really not suited for central Florida. So, you know, the freeze that we had last year really did a lot of them in, mm -hmm. uh, especially, you know, in Sumter County. Um, so those, we had a lot of palms that com were completely killed. Um, by that, so and that costs a lot of money to have a palm removed in the landscape. Right, especially if, since if you have several years where you haven't had much cold, and they get nice and big, Absolutely. and then it, then it gets really expensive to. It's really expensive. You know, a lot of homeowners plant three or more That's in the true. landscape, so you know it costs a lot of money. So it's just going to save a homeowner a lot of money by just selecting the right plant, put it in the right place, <laughs> and you're not going to, you know, you're going to save a lot of money on maintenance and replacement. So. Well, great. So. I guess the big thing, that's all with Florida-friendly landscaping, is right plant, right place, and what was the other one, right time? Right plant, right place, and make sure you know your hardiness zone. And right, and what is our hardiness zone? Nine, 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 nine. Eight. So yep. make sure when you're buying things at your local landscape nursery to get stuff for the right zone. Absolutely. Just because it's in the landscape, the nursery, in, in some of the stores doesn't mean it's necessarily no. for our zone, right? No, no, and you know, definitely go to our websites and, and take advantage of that, um, you know, solutionsforyourlife.com. FloridaYards.org is a great website that we have that gives all the nice, pretty pictures um, of our plants. Well, great. So. Thank you very much, Jim. Thank you.